So as a uh, but buncher operator or a shear operator, feller buncher operator, whatever the heck you want to call it, one of the worst things to do, man, is how to trim up a freaking SMZ. SMZ stands for Streamside Management Zone. You got to protect them. This is an SMZ right here where I'm at, but it's not. Uh, it's not really don't have really a, a ditch in it, so they go. We can cut all the pine out of it here. We can get all the pine. You gotta leave the other stuff. And uh, so Chad has already cut it. Of course, if you ain't figured out, I'm turn the freaking radio down. If you ain't figured out, I'm on the 8:30 here. And uh, Chad has already cut this down to the SMZ flagging with the uh, 726. So I've been on the 830 all day today, trimming up stuff and all that, but which is fine. It's uh, it is what it is. I mean, I'll do whatever I got to do. Uh, Derek, Derek went back to Birmingham uh, this past Monday. Know what day it was but anyhow they they told him they wanted to come back around the first of april again maybe this ground is soft 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 man i've been cutting on bro i've been on uh, mats all day today too i'm not on them right now but and i hadn't been stuck yet but that could happen at any given second right now so He's got to go back, so he's still going to be out till uh, the uh, 1st of April at least. That tree is dead. I hate to work to get to a tree and then the sun's going to be dead. See, the broke and the tree's pissing me off and they're like that. So he's still going to be out for a while. And, uh, and he's getting married this weekend. Him and Anita's getting married this weekend. So I'm going to talk to you, man, see if I can do a little filming. I'll take y'all to the wedding. I'll take y'all to the wedding with me or whatever. That ought to be, that ought to be pretty good. <laughs> See if I can get some filming, filming there. Little Big D getting married or whatever. So, I learned a lot on this, on this buncher. He's, uh, you guys that run these track cutters, that, you know, my hat's off to y'all. There's a lot of stuff going on in these things, man, all the time. And, uh, I can I run this thing pretty good, but I couldn't really run it that well in soft ground. I didn't do that good ever in soft ground, but I learned some stuff this morning on it that I figured out that helped me out a lot. Whoa, boys and girls. This wet, wet, wet. This wet right here, Chad, I'm all about that wet right there, boy. So, He's about to bring me some brush to get down in there to get that. I mean, I cut down pretty bad right there, but these are just different animals to run. And so, uh, Chad's on the 635, and uh, my dad is loading the truck with the loader, with my loader. Now, the thing about my dad does really good on the 635. But when my dad is in the loader, those of y'all who have kids and stuff, y'all can y'all will relate to this. Those who don't, if you ever do have kids, you'll figure out, you'll understand what I'm gonna say. See what I do, I throw that brush right there. Chad will bring me some more. And I'll take and I'll get up on top of this brush here. And that's what'll hold me up on top of the ground. But my dad having him in the loader is like having a two-year-old out here in the woods. You know how a two-year-old is? You don't, you don't turn your back on a two-year-old for nothing. Because if you do, them little song guns, they will get into everything. They will cause you all kinds of problems and stuff. It's kind of the way my dad is on the loader. To be a good loader operator, you gotta keep up with the time. <laughs> and, and all that stuff. And you got a lot of stuff you gotta watch. And uh and also it's been kind of comical today. No, but he get it done though. He can get it done. <laughs> I 
That's Ben's shirt, man. The one that Ben sent me right there. All right, I'm gonna show y'all right quick. See, Chad's bringing me. Oh no, see it. See, he just dropped me a full of, of uh, limbs and stuff right here. Just brush them up here off the processor. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna bring it around here in front of me because I need to get down. I'm gonna map me a trail to those trees right there. Is what I'm fixing to do. So, now is not the time to be getting stuck, is it? <laughs> no, sir, it's not. No, I will ride. If I bury this thing, I will ride out with you, man. <laughs> so, should I take this brush here? 8,500. And we'll move it out here to this tree. Then I can go right here. Right, he has to be ready to back in there, Lenny. Come on back in right there where Harold's at. See, what's, hap what's happening is it's starting to rain. We got this huge rain that's coming. It's been over in uh, Louisiana. Uh, I talked to uh, my buddy Trandy earlier, and he said they had gotten 23 inches of rain. All right, that rain is starting to get us right now. We're trying to get these last few trucks. Loaded and get them out of here. We're trying to beat the rain. That's what we're trying to do. So, um, and we got we're in, we're back in some bad hills right now again where we're at, and it's wet. We're gonna get it. See, I can take. I need to go a little bit further. Take some of this brush, a little bit of it right here behind me. Grab it up, put it around on this side of me. Lay it right here on the tracks. And then move a little bit, get right on top of it. And get right over here to uh, cut these last couple of trees. The rest of these trees right, over, right, there, over there are on the other All side. Right. All right, thank you. Oh, wait a minute, I better stay where I'm at. Alright, gotta work with us. Then you ready to go there? Just, I think we're still okay on that hill, but y'all still real slow going down. And, you know, some case they try to try to slide, but I think we're still going to be okay right now. Let y'all hear all the radio stuff that's going on. Is it? Yeah, I was kind of wondering too, man. I said they're thinking, I was thinking, See if I if I get off of this brush. Harold, Harold, telephone call is going to advance. You go to shop with them and you go in the morning. I could either. I just make sure they label that ticket. You know, telephone call as far as you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get out. Come on, baby. I got no. Coming out. No, I killed it. Dead gum it. I killed it trying to reach out and push on through that other tree right there this thing's been sitting since uh, well since I finished the last job or uh, back in no the end no the beginning of December this thing's been parked we serviced it right before we parked it and so I really, this is the hardest this is the most I've run it yet but so it's got, it's wanting to bog on me a little bit. It was real bad this morning, but it's gotten better as the 
is the day is when today I actually put some fuel additive in it. May end up having to put some fuel filters on it. But what happened was I cut that one and then tried to push on through that other one real quick to get it too in a hurry. And I bogged it out, I completely killed it and everything. And uh, so if you don't let this thing shut down, let that computer shut down, it throws up a fault up there. So that's what was going on. So let it sit here for just a second and uh, I'll fire it back up. But we're on the edge of getting this rain. And uh, so you just, you have some exciting stuff like that from time to time. But what I was saying before I killed it, if I'm not, if I if I get off of this brush at all, I'll be in, I'll be done screwed down in the ground. That's the only thing keeping me up right now. So let's let y'all ride around. It gets exciting out here sometimes, man. It gets exciting. You know, I've only had one really good oh crap moment this morning right off the bat, where I was cutting on a on a cliff edge over there. This where I'm at right now is not real bad. That's the reason why it's so wet over here. But over yonder, uh, I let the machine kind of get away from me a little bit. It kind of bogged on me like that, and I wasn't prepared for it to do that and everything. And it, and it did. Let's see if it'll stay off this time. Yeah, it's fine this time. So that's what logging's all about, man. I got a Facebook friend of mine cuts over around Oxford, Alabama, Chihaw over around the uh, Chihaw Mountain over there. I guarantee you his heart's in good shape because that's some bad ground over yonder. Get this joker back going here and get her back running. Get my saw back on. Okay. Get up out of here. Maybe I like that. I don't know. I'm gonna stop this video. It's just pouring down down here. I'm gonna work my way on back up because we we ain't gonna go. I'm gonna go back up here toward the truck in case we have uh, toward the loader here. Just in case we have problems trying to get a truck out of here and it goes in a ditch, where I'll go ahead and be on up there and everything. <laughs> Y'all see the windshield? It is. It's raining harder than cow pissing on a flat rock now, man. <laughs> I mean, I guess we finna get all that rain that y'all been getting over in Louisiana. Maybe we won't get as much as y'all got over there. Hope not, anyhow. I don't know if you can see Kevin up there or not in the processor, but I'm right here. Look at they're right here in front of me, about 100 yards right here. Coming up on them now. Yeah, I think the bottom fell out. I think you're right there. That's just. The bottom has fallen out. At least we made four days this week. That was good the last several weeks, man. It's been raining so that good much. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good enough right there. Yeah. <laughs> you think we're gonna be able to get that? We ain't gonna be able to get that truck down the hill. You finish loading in there, Dad, but I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even let it try to go out of here or whatever. Just let it sucker sit. Yeah, I think it's just raining. It is too hard here. I think I think we're done there. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we can get the truck out of here. Yeah, we're good. 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 I mean, this sets in rains this afternoon and night, like what it's showing. I mean, we we we, we done for the bar. I mean, we we uh we wish we wouldn't, but of course, you know, the rain that hit us. But at least we have made it to the day anyway. Look at there's some ears down that hill out there now, cause that that's, we got to come in and out. That's the only way in and out of here. So be careful going down that hill. Yeah, I'm still spinning, trying to get on top of this hill. Yeah, it's, it's kind of swing wide. Just take your time, cause like they said, we definitely don't. So, say what's happening is, y'all that, that work in different areas, like where we're at right here, this is red clay, and you can see the water on the clay. All right, when that red clay gets water on it, it's like ice. I mean, it's. 
it's no different than being on a piece of ice. That stuff gets slicker than an owl snot on a doorknob, man. I mean, it, it gets slick. And we got a real bad hill to go down there. It's got two curves in it going down. It wouldn't take much to roll a truck right there, so we'll just leave that truck back there. Dad's loaded down. We'll just park it and leave it here. Just heck with it. Let that one go out. See how he does. Point that's one. 